pretty muscular looking guy. And I asked him when I said, John, why do you cry every time I get up and start talking about scriptures? Why do you start crying? He said, because, Pastor, I didn't know that was in there. I didn't know it was in there. I would have been doing I didn't know it was in there. I said, John, every time you hear, you're going to see something. I said, so if that's the case, you're going to be crying all your life, brother. <laughs> I said, because that, you see, it's another thing about some church people. They think coming to church is supposed to be just a social time where you open up a scripture and you talk about the Bible. But they don't really think about change. Every time you come here, it's, it's, a, it's, a, time, it's a time you can change. This is your opportunity for change. So if you're just trying to get more doctrinal literate so you can know stuff, nothing ever made a person, knowing stuff never made a person different. It's when they allow the stuff to get inside and the stuff say, look, Jerry Fryer, you have been thinking like this for years. This is the way the perfect Lamb of God thinks. And you are destined by God to be like him. So we're going to challenge the way you think. And if you want to have victory, my God, Lord help me because I'm getting ready. You know, some folks talk about deliverance. I'm going to tell you what deliverance is. Deliverance is when you can hear something and then tell God, open my heart and work in me. All right? Doctrinally, doctrinally, you think if I lay hands on you, you got victory. No. Everybody Jesus laid hand on and end up delivered is because they received the impartation on the inside. That's why Judas, after all those years walking around with Jesus, wouldn't change. He was in the midst. So you can be in the presence of God. Folks used to say, if I just get in the presence of God, I'll be different. No, you won't. You can get in the presence of God, but if you don't will in your heart to let the Holy Spirit change what's inside, I assure you you can go in and out of the presence of God and be no different. Amen. All right. Well, praise the Lord. Now, let's get to this number four, and I, I think I'm going to be closing here. Amen. I'm going to be closing. The other part I'll give you next week which means that some of you all that was going to be preaching next week won't get to preach next week because i got to finish this. Amen? Okay. But we'll see how much you like Jesus when you know that now. Huh? This is a good, this is a good opportunity. We'll see if you go home. Oh, man, this guy been preaching all my life. God always going to give you opportunities to be like Jesus. And also you get opportunities to check how, how much you've grown. Amen? Number four, the Holy Spirit would change us, which is a process, to reflect our Creator. Now, I do want you to turn to Colossians 3.10, and we're going to be, we'll be closing for today. Colossians 3.10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell your neighbor, you know, who you're going to be like? Jesus. You know who I'm going to be like? 